Welcome to Grand Buff Buffet Life. You did. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Hickory, whatever. You know, got me DoorDash. DoorDash. Got a little bit of that. Right now, I'm waiting on my train. I just thought I'd give y'all mug bangs, too. Other than that, though, man, I've been having a blast on how to give y'all a video. And I've been waiting up here for a hot minute, man. I missed the last train because it was on the other side, you know what I'm saying? And they didn't say nothing. I'm like, man, what? Meanwhile, I want to thank you for this for my DJ's name. Amen. You know, sometimes God do things for certain reasons and purposes. So, I, you know, there was a reason why he did what he did. You know what I'm saying? I'm taste this, man. I ain't had this right here in a long time. I ain't never did a video um, on my channel with it, but I had it before. What I like about this spot, that rib will come out the bone. And they really cook it. Just up here waiting for my train to come. I've been up here some eleven some, right? All because somebody said a, a train over there it was a different type of train, so I didn't know that was a train I was supposed to get on. Highly disappointed, you feel me? Later on, you might catch me do another vlog at the casino. My mama, I didn't even know that that's what it was. Oh, my mama, I was tripping. What? Maybe or something different. Potato good too. Thank God I made it to my thousand subscribers now I can share. And I, I ain't checked it out, but I know eventually I can go live. Let me show you. I'm trying to give y'all the best content that I can give y'all. I don't know what type of work you saw today. Mm Yeah. I took a break for a moment, like seven days. I ain't post a video probably a little longer than that. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you gotta just relax. Chill, man. So, so much going on in the world, man. You know, with so much negative in the inner seat ports. Sometimes I just chill and appreciate that 
that God is still giving you the strength and the ability to be strong. When some people are not as strong as you. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's a lot of hate. Amongst a lot of people in the world because a lot of people are going through rough times. So if they're not as strong or if they got certain things that's going on, you know, they expect, okay, how that person becomes still stronger than me? And, you know, they got less tools than that person, you know? So, you know, the biggest thing you do, don't fall under depression. No matter what your circumstances is, always understand no weapons form against you shall prosper. You feel me? You know, sometimes we change for the better, and even when we change for the better, the devil throw tests at us from the closest people that we know because it's easier to bite. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and his job and objective is to get you to bite that bullet or hit that bullet. You know what I mean? So, you know, with me, I, I just been working hard, man. I've been trying to stay strong. You know, I try to motivate those through my trials and tribulations. But sometimes, you know, people look at it as, how you motivate me through my, your trials and tribulations, and you ain't got what I got. And once you become where you need to be, where it's like, man, you still got that same energy, it become a challenge to some people because they just looked at it in one way and, you know, like a blink of an eye, God showed them a new way. You know what I'm saying? You know? And everybody don't hate on people, but it's just some people, when they, they're used to you being in a certain position in life, they don't see nothing else. Or if they lurk, used to you being the person that takes the blame to follow everybody else. And that's what people are constantly trying to bring to you, man. Because you didn't, you didn't took that L or that bullet for so long that the next person got comfortable. I, while, they, while they were seeing you get hit, you know, secretly, probably behind doors or himself, they was like, man, better him than me. Life is crazy, man, you know what I'm saying? I y'all see that I got the fishing license, you know what I'm saying? Taking it back from the um the beginning, you know what I'm saying? My granddad used to take me fishing. You know, it felt good to go fishing, so... You know what I'm saying? I'm just taking it back from the beginning, man. You know what I'm saying? There's new chapters in life. You know, God has been opening a lot of doors for me to remain positive, to remain humble, and don't let what a person think of me control my decision making. You know what I'm saying? Because they talked about Jesus, man. You know? Plenty of people hate on Jesus, man. They're just in the nature of people sometimes. Definitely if they don't see how God is working in the favor of you. You know? You know, it's been times where I, I chill back and I see a scenario, I'll be like, man, God, God been blessing him. God been blessing her. And even myself, I'd be like, God been blessing me. You know, I get on my knees and pray. My brother coming home about two days. Man, that's one of the biggest blessings that I could say God has blessed me with. Up until now, I'm just trying to stay away from people that are secretly in competition that's trying to outdo whatever it is that I do, you know what I'm saying? You know, if you got a lot of people like that around you, they don't never see the good, or they always got an excuse of why they think certain stuff is happening in your life. Stay from around them type of people, man.
You know what I mean? They, they, they think they got all the answers, man. Stay from around them because in reality, they're going to start showing you what they really think of you and what they really want from you. You know, right now, we're going to face as well. Greed is everything, man. I've been that way for years, man. So, you know, people will say certain suggestions where in reality, if they stand in a joking way, but they as serious as they want to be. You know what I mean? All smiles ain't from no heart. And a lot of hugs ain't really real. You know what I'm saying? So, just like a boxer will. Protect yourself at all costs. You know? If you could take about 10 or 5 hits, take that for the right cause or the right position, or take it and know what you're really striving for, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? But they might ain't striving for the same. You know. Divide and conquer is real, man. Divide and conquer is real. Man, shout out to my cousin, man. Y'all go check out his music. I'll be leaving some of his stuff in my community page. I would appreciate him for um, actually taking the time, pull up on me, do a video, collab with me like I wanted to, you know, go check his channel out, you know. Don't ask me about nobody that ain't standing next to me. A joke. <laughs> I'm a real child, man. I'm a fool, man. And always watch out for those that always say you may need help. Because a lot of times these people be getting help throughout their whole life. One thing I felt good about was the other day ago, I was visiting and, um, my partner pit pulled up, and when he pulled up, man, you know what I'm saying? First time he pulled up, man, we in the Lexus doing heck of stuff. You feel me? The next time he pulled up, he pulled up in his little van, you feel me? I'm thinking he had just came from work, you feel me? Because he a mechanic. Got his little vest, like, you know, I had a spot in there. Man, I done forgot he had already told me. You know what I'm saying? But it was a while ago because this is the same friend that, you know what I'm saying? I've been knowing for years. We had fat barbecues. You know what I'm saying? His pops, though, man, saucy and chess. You know what I'm saying? He used to play back in the day around the times when um, I think Bruce Lee was an uncle. Real chess, man. But I did beat him one good time. Thank God. I ain't beat him after that no more. He was hot, too. But sometimes he slipped. And that's all I needed to know. I could whoop him one time. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if he was a little toxic cat or whatever it might be. The more of the story is this though. My partner, he be doing his food truck stuff. Like he bought a little thing. So you know what I'm saying? Pretty soon y'all may see me functioning with him and also probably pulling up on him. You know what I'm saying? One of my vehicles or my other folks, you know what I'm saying? Stuff, you know what I mean? To show y'all, man, you know what I'm saying? I, I know people of all type of type of lifestyles, you know what I'm saying? Like my channel, don't get me wrong, like, I'm not gonna just not do certain content with this person because this person do this. Like, if they is involved in something that is, is, is meant to be content, then I'm gonna show y'all, you feel me? I'm saying I'm not gonna be thirsty for content, I'm gonna show y'all. But I felt like it was very unique, man, to see my brother pull up on me, man. And, um, with his mobile, you know what I'm saying, mechanic had all the tools and everything. And not just on top of that, it's like, I knew bro already had his little thing where 
with his food stuff, you feel me, and remind you, you know what I'm saying, that's one of the things, one of my objectives, as a matter of fact, I'm going to put a video up in here showing y'all, while I was at the flea market, one of the things that I was looking at, you feel me, currently looking at future plans and stuff, you feel me, or whatnot, you know what I'm saying, you know, looking at different little stuff right here, you feel me, or whatnot, look at that though, that's a cool price right here, I ain't going to lie, you know, don't let your left hand know what your right hand doing, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put it in there to show y'all. You know what I'm saying? My brother got something like that, though. I don't know exactly what, how he got it. I don't know if it's just like the hot dog one. Whatever it may be, the, the point of it is, man, he, be, he done did his thing out there in the valley, you know what I'm saying? And, man, sold out everything. You feel me? Day, that's going to be something that I'm going to be working on, too, though, because... You know, overall, when I first made my channel, it was made, you know what I'm saying, for a multiple reasons, you feel me? And one of the biggest reasons was, as you can see my name, Buffet, you feel me? I took a broadcast channel, which one of my folks do, that a couple of my folks actually do. But I just want one because I just, I like to be like, I like to speak, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I like, my main thing was really to do YouTube because one day I may do an inspirational speaking and stuff like that. And um, another thing was my cooking. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love to cook, man. I, I love that because, you know, my mom used to always tell me, man, you gotta know how to cook for yourself, man. So with that said, I took that and I ran with that in a positive way. And, you know, I made, I made it useful myself to know how to cook because it be times where you may want some meals done and you and your girl could be funking or not seeing eye to eye and now you can't even get this meal cooked because she the only one on it, you know what I'm saying? Nah, I can't limit to myself like that, baby. Hey, baby. Put that thing in that pot, do what I do. Come eating her best meals, you did? <laughs> but, um, like I say, man, you know what I'm saying? I've been having a good time, man. You know what I mean? As y'all seen, we went fishing. You know, um, man, I got so much different content for you guys. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and I'm giving y'all the content organic. You know what I'm saying? You know, different little shared scenarios, different little situations. You know what I'm saying? I'm just giving to y'all organic. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you hear my channel is called Grand Buff Buffet Life. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it 100 grand. Stay strong. Uh, you dig? You know what I'm saying? I ain't a bully, man. I used to thunder stuff back in the days, though. You feel me? But like I say, man, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Grand Buff Buffet Life. You dig? So y'all going to be getting 100 grand with me, man. Of different lifestyles and all the stuff that's associated with me or you know what I'm saying how I'm functioning at times and definitely y'all gonna get my life buffet life baby you know what I'm saying this is what it is man you know what I'm saying it's written it's written down in stones man you know what I'm saying bricks man you feel me dig man hey right, man I'm just saying though I love all y'all that's been tuning in with me I want to thank everybody that helped me get to a thousand subscribers I truly appreciate it. I'm back. You feel me? I'm saying I'm going to keep giving y'all that <laughs> grand buff buffet life you did. Yes, indeed. Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? I want y'all to like, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on that bell. And stay tuned in when I drop more bangers. Have a blessed one. And actually, food was scrumptious too. Hey. And while I'm at it, ladies, beautify you like you did.